Welcome to Idaho News 6. I'm senior reporter Don Nelson outside of West Bet in Garden City. We have your neighborhood reporters across southern Idaho bringing the stories that matter most to you from your neighborhoods. But first, we are staying on the case for you. We are learning more about Boise's first police shooting of the year. As we reported, 37-year-old Jeremiah Gaver is dead after a confrontation with police in South Boise in the early morning hours on Wednesday. Two canines stabbed and badly injured in the confrontation, receiving emergency care at West Vet in Garden City, where we are right now. They have been released. The Idaho Police Canine Association identified the injured dogs as Canine Astrid and Canine Miko. The Sheriff's Office offering only a press release about the shooting so far. It happened near Cole and Amity. Photographer Doug Locksmith and I spent the day at the scene as part of our team coverage while we were there. We talked with an eyewitness who gave us this exclusive video of the moments before officers opened fire. You saw the police officers shoot this guy. Yes, I saw them have a little shootout with him over over there in that field, but they were like missing, so he's running through the field. And when they got over here, they tried to taser him, but he finagled his way, you know, across the street. But yeah, he was on the ground and I just saw guards drawn. You can find my original reporting as I walk you step by step through the scene and what the sheriff's office says happened at our website, IdahoNews6.com. Four Ada County Sheriff's deputies and one Boise police officer are on leave while the critical incident task force investigates led by Meridian PD. In light of what happened to the two canine dogs on Wednesday, I wanted to know what kind of care is available at a facility like West Vet 24 seven animal emergency. When I first heard about the stabbing of the two canines in Wednesday's police shooting, I wanted to know. He's very sweet, my boy. How do emergency animal hospitals prepare themselves for those kind of patients? If it's a trauma and they're bleeding from that trauma, those guys can do pretty well. But if it's a dog that has a chronic bleeding condition, right. so your own body is causing the bleeding, those can be a little bit more tricky. Maybe you need multiple transfusions, that kind of thing. So it depends what the cause is. Dr. Laura Pell, an emergency veterinarian at West Vet in Meridian, said getting blood for transfusions is similar to what we deal with. There is a donation center where they actually purchase the blood product. At different times, if we can't get blood, then sometimes we will open up blood banks ourselves. And oftentimes it's our own dogs that donate. So when a dog needs emergency care, they come into the animal ER where they'll be hooked up to a heart monitor, oxygen monitor, and worst case scenario, they'll get the blood transfusions right here. And according to Dr. Pell, transfusions from one dog to another, fairly simple procedure. For a first transfusion, they can actually, there's a universal donor that most dogs are. Um, and so typically they can all get the same blood, at least for the first transfusion. He's the goodest boy. He's so good. As a dog owner myself, if that's something that might interest you and you'd like to help him out, ask your local veterinarian. It is assuring and comforting to know that hospitals like West Vet 24-7 Animal Emergency are equipped to help your dog in any emergency. Reporting in Meridian, Senior Reporter Don Nelson for Idaho News 6.